wonderful. I've somehow started a stream almost on time, but... Well, actually, it is on time, I guess. So that's good fun. <laughs> oh, boy. Here we... That was a weak clap. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. It is the Beandale stream. It is the stream where I am Beandale, and you're a viewer, and I'm Beandale. I hope you appreciate coming to the stream. Uh... My name is Bando, I think I've clarified that. Today is the 31st of January, that is correct, it is Chinese New Year's Eve. Tomorrow is the new moon, the first new moon after January 21, is that off the top of my head? It's some, some period in that time, and if there's a new moon, that's when the Chinese New Year lands. So, that's when the Chinese New Year is. It's today, or tonight. It'll, it'll cross over, so. Happy Year of the Tiger People. Uh, I haven't looked too much into it, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I hope you're all having a wonderful time wherever you are, uh, and whenever you are. If you're watching this in the VOD form, or you're watching this in the future, in which case, hi. Uh, that'd be cool. So, uh, without further ado, let's jump right into Mario Land 2. Look at that. I'm ready. Spaghetti. Uh, so, in the last stream of Mario Land 2, uh, I've played through... 10 more levels, and now we're at this wonderful point where I've got every single treasure except for these 10 levels that I haven't done. So, uh, from the looks of it, this is, I think this was 4-4, and this branched off into its own pathway. So we're going to see where this goes. This basically is a breakout from the factory. I guess Captain Syrup was like, yo, you're coming this way, I guess. To the death-defying machinery. What could possibly go wrong? I got a wonderful bottle of water, which you're gonna hear. Maybe a little bit. Just for a moment. Here comes Warrior! Ah, he's going back. He's going back. Oh, he's still going back. Oh, well, poor Warrior. So. He's stuck in the mysterious factory. Well, you know the level's good when it starts off with a floor indicator. Uh, but yeah, no, I, I hope you're all having a wonderful time. Uh, it is the end of January for uh, most people. Uh, January has been a wonderfully lengthy month, uh, but it's also one where I think, uh, I don't know, for me, exciting things have happened. Just getting back into the swing of things. New Year, you do your Christmas, you got all, all that set behind you. January is when... Everything all starts up, except, uh, also, Australia has Australia Day on January 26th, celebrating the landing, uh, at Port Sydney, I believe. Uh, not necessarily further up, I forgot where exactly they land further up, but it's not there, they, it's just when they land in Sydney. So, is that, uh, I gotta be careful about these blizzard fellas. Otherwise Microsoft's gonna buy me. Ah, no! Oh, I'm going this away. I'm really going. I'm really going. Wow. Alright, so... Uh... Yeah. It's been a pretty, pretty cool time. Uh... I, I'm currently skirting a bit of work phone calls. I'm getting, like, wonderful, uh, alerts all the time. We got someone hitting our services so hard. And I'm just like... Save it for- <laughs> save it for Tomoza. Hey, we gotta watch out for this guy right here. There we go. Just for some coins. You know what? Coins is coins. You gotta, you gotta take every victory you can. So, that's fine. That guy drops down. Oh, that, mm, I walked right into that one. Alright, let's see. We can keep going further down. I don't know what I'm expecting. I, I, whether further down is the way to go, but... Is that a cursed coin? Oh, it is! I got fished! I got fished! I, I fell for the oldest trick in the book. And now I'm back at the start. At the B1F. I don't know, we don't- do we do basement floors? We don't do basement floors too often here. Usually I've seen some, like, cursed things where the, um, the floors start, uh, just like- like you walk in at ground floor, but you're actually on the third floor. But then, like, they'll legitimately do ground if it is ground, but, um, sometimes, I don't know, you'll, you'll sometimes just have, a. I actually want to, like, get, 
washed away on this one. Um, sometimes you'll actually get a... Actually, do I? No, oh, that just puts me there. Oh, jeez. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the, um, the trend is on that one. If anyone knows, leave a comment as to uh, why you know lift systems and also what is it, because I've actually got no clue. Um, yeah, do you start on ground? Do you start on floor one? When do you do one or the other? Alright, so B5 is definitely the way to exit at the bottom, except there's also a 6 down here, which goes in the opposite direction. Oh, I got baited. Oh, oh, oh. oh. get out of here, bird. Uh, I wonder what's this away. Bit of risky money, sure. Cool. Yeah, um, the joys of the end of January means you'd be, there's a very amazing number of video games that have come out in the last, uh, well, maybe not in the last week, I can't think of too many, but the one I can think of is the new Pokemon, um, to which I hear it's either good or eh, depending on who you are, um, but you know what, like, that's, that's a fine deal, I guess, um, Gotta somehow tap that and then back off. Oh, they give you they give you three spaces here. Oh, they I, they don't give you three spaces there. I think they give you only two. Maybe it's because I have to jump. So really, I gotta like hop off the ledge. Oh. Like that's what I do is that I'm doing like a charge onto the next ledge. Yeah, that's what I gotta do. It makes sense once you do it. Uh, we got the the guillotines, the spiky boy. Oh, oh. It's a pain with the conveyor belts, I tell ya. Oh, oh. I'm going up, and we've got a punchy bro. Get him out of here. So what's up here? Oh my gosh, what is up here? Money. Lots of money. Uh... <laughs> oh, cool. Okay. Um... But yeah, other than that, uh, looking through the retro achievement set for this game, uh, just kind of going like, oh, what am I missing? And it, it seems that there's one for getting 10,000 total treasure, oh, sorry, 10,000 total coins. I don't think there's any actual, like, game reward. I didn't spot which one it was. Oh, cool. Um, there's, I don't think there's an actual, like, in-game reason to get lots of coins, just if you got enough. The blankie. They're all blankies to me. Uh, but on top of that, like, uh, there's a lot for beating a boss without taking a hit. Um, I know you technically can't take a hit, but like, not like the... Oh, I guess this is the end of level. It's a bit in the way. There we go. Bonk, bonk. Bonk, bonk. Bonk. He's just not in the right spot. Bonk, 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 bonk. Easy money, easy money. There we go, good stuff. Hope you'll love that coin sound. Alright, do I remember how to do this? I don't know. The plan, by the way, for this stream is to play the remaining 10 levels and then there's a little bit of a bonus for getting to the very, very end with all 50 treasures and all 50. Uh, these. Oh, we'll get there. So, alright, there's a line. Could be an 8, could be a 9, I can't tell. It still could be an 8, still could be a 9. It's definitely... 9. Is that, yeah. Cool. 
Okay. I might start playing those a bit safer than I usually do. Oh. I guess that's near the end. <laughs> I guess I did the, um... The chapter 5 way? Oh, that's okay. Into the factory. They're all final chapter, though, because they end the story. So, everyone loves more factory levels. I know I do. I didn't get lost in one in the last stream, no siree. Uh, let's just switch the polarity. Whoop. 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 <laughs> I did it for money, that was it. So yeah, the new Pokemon, uh, from what I gather, uh, my main take-homes is, yeah, it looks better than the, uh, than Sword and Shield in terms of, uh, like a presentation angle, but that's not saying much, and also it's definitely still got uh, its quirks. People criticize the copy-pasted trees, and like on the one hand it's like, yeah, it's not great looking. It is also the Switch, but it's also not great looking, I guess is that. Um, but Pokemon's also been like a game about, um, you know, not, not necessarily about like its visuals, uh, but also just generally being a, uh, like an engaging game, and a game where everyone's got a bit of a different story. And I feel like this this game, um, Arceus, Legends Arceus, I think it um, succeeds on that front. It sounds like it, it does, but I, uh, I unfortunately don't know too much about it. All I can really say is, some people do find it's very average, and some people say it's good. Someone I, someone I know referred to it as uh, an early access game, except it's on the Switch. And it's like, eh, I mean, maybe there's merit to that. Um, and it's... It makes me wonder some things. Like, I always feel like some games do get released, uh... As if they were early access games. Like, they don't have too much... Oh, okay, I'm at here already. I'm wandering around. I'm, like, really, like, going through this bit. I'm not finding I'm getting stumped on anything. Uh, I'm also amazed I've got 200 coins, but sure. Alright, bandana guy, bandana guy, bandana guy, banana guy. That's how it- that's how it goes. Uh, okay, I got him. Don't worry. That's all right. Uh, but... Yeah. Yeah. It seems, um... It seems interesting. Uh, I was also chatting to a friend about, um, he was playing through, uh... Pokemon, uh... What's the one? Brilliant Diamond. Or Shining Pearl. I'm not too sure which one he actually does on. But he was playing through it, and he did express a lot of, um... Okay, well, there's the end of the level, and I need to be flat, and I need to also not necessarily lose all my money. Um, but, uh, he was definitely expressing a lot of, uh, a lot of pain points about the game. He was like, why do the enemies have competitive levels? Why are there only two fire types? Uh, which, I'm amazed they didn't pick the, uh, the Platinum. Um, the Pokemon Platinum. Um, uh, Pokédex in that game, because, yeah, the original versions of Diamond and Pearl only had two families of fire types in the whole Pokédex. They had, uh, Chimchar, a starter, and then Ponyta, and that was it. And, uh, I, I was like, what about Slugman? And I was like, no, he's only available at the end of the game, first game, and I was like, oh, darn. Uh, I could take the hit, or I could meander all my way back down. So, uh, yeah, um, other kind of pain points, he was a little bit, uh, indifferent to the underground, the, especially the revised underground. Um, and, uh, yeah, also wasn't too happy with, the uh, leveling up a Ponyta, and then the Ponyta was low level, and he was like, I've got no real reliable way of getting experience, at least in any quick time, and I was like, oh, those are pain points I can kind of understand. Um, maybe at a later point I'll replay, uh, Diamond Pearl. Um, I've done it recently, but I didn't think much about it. I kind of played it and... That was it? I don't think this is gonna put me out in exactly where I want to be. Oh, I got another chance. I got another chance at it. Cool. Or do I? I don't think I, I, don't think I have gotten another chance. Uh -huh. Okay. 
Well, at least I know what I'm doing here. So I gotta go up. Up the, the jumps. Up a bit more. Oop. Up a bit more. And away we go. Back in here. Okay. So, get up the ledge. Don't get hit by the bat. Got it. Poor warrior. Oh, he's not really poor, is he? Oh, oh, oh. Because I feel like if I drop down left here, I can't go back right to get in there. I gotta, like, kind of sweep in. So I awkwardly have to get, like, dragged up here. Hmm. Crunch that plastic. Crunch it against my head. That's the one. Um, yeah. Uh, what else has come out recently? I can't recall anything off the top of my head, uh, which is a bit of a shame. But I realize that there's a lot of there's a lot of games. Hold on. I'm gonna look this one up because there's a lot of games, and then I can get the list of like, oh, did anything actually just come out last week as well? Um. In 2022, we are expected to see the release of many video games. Uh, the only other one I can say is The Artful Escape. That's all I can say, really. Uh, and also the Uncharted Legacy of Thieves collection for the PS5. There you go, a PS5 exclusive, except it's just remasters of the, uh, um, of Uncharted 4 and the Expand Alone that they had. But uh, it's something. I guess. And it's also coming to PC later, so... Um, so anyway, we've got coming up the Life is Strange Remastered Collection. Uh, first one, Dying Light 2, Stay Human. This one, I have not played any Techland game at all. I have not played Dead Island, I have not played Dying Light 1. I don't really know what makes that game tick compared to other games. Uh, but what I do know is that it has a cloud version on the Switch. And that's gonna be a wonderful thing for people to encounter. I, on the one hand, like, I love the idea of cloud versions when you can't make a working game. I hate the idea of cloud versions as a thing you buy for the same price as the game and then inevitably... I mean, granted, like, I guess you get perpetual access while the servers are there, but... You know, once it's gone, that game's gone. And also on top of that, you're at the mercy of a good internet connection, which... Like, what I find amazing with cloud games, people have good internet connections enough that they can do streams, they can play video games with each other, but doing live, like, remote gameplay amazingly doesn't really work. Uh, and that's like a, that's something that I think a lot of, uh, like, shareholder people, or like, a, you know, more managerial types, like, get really baffled by, is that a cloud gaming, like, hasn't. Stadia is dead. It got one singular, like, credit mention at E3. Sorry, at the, uh, at the Game Awards. Um, like, one game was coming out for Stadia, and that was it. And it was also coming out on a myriad of other platforms as well. Google instead was like, yo, we've got a phone. There you go. There you go, I'll pass in. Alright, now I gotta make sure I get the jump right here. I just, hmm, <laughs> I've just put myself in that same uh, situation I was just in, huh. Um, yeah, like, I, and, and granted, I don't think Stadia never came here to Australia, did it? Oh, I've got to not hit a wall, that's the, what's throwing off the timing of everything. When you hit something and then the warrior's just like, whatever. Someone just, like, take the sprite and go, yep, that's Wario. That's him, all right. Oh. It is a bonus level, I guess. It's... You know, it's to be expected, but still... Oh, it's a bit painful. Bit of the pain. But that's okay. No pain, no gain, no game, even, so. Uh, next one I got coming out is, uh, Oli Oli World. I think I remember Oli Oli being like... Nope, oh, I hit the wall, I don't know if that's... Yeah, that... 
100% threw me off. Um, this is the, uh, the, the skating game, yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's, there's, there's two other Oli Oli games, I don't know. I remember, like, seeing the first one way back when. Um, so I guess there's that. Um, what else? Uh, Saifu, that's on my list. We've got Crossfire X. That is an Xbox only shooter. Okay. Uh, we got Kingdom Hearts 3 HD 1.5 Remix, 2.5 Remix, 2.8 Final Chapter Prologue. D by the way, naming convention. Uh, do, do any of those scream to you like Kingdom Hearts 3? Sure. Does 1.5, does HD 1.5 Remix indicate that it's actually, um, like, a HD remaster of just Kingdom Hearts 1, but it also includes, I think it does indeed include, like, multiple Kingdom Hearts games, and that's what really confuses me. But not Kingdom Hearts 2. It's, it's put, like, various tangentially related games next to Kingdom Hearts 1, and then you gotta buy the Kingdom Hearts 2 one. Um, I am one of, like, three people on Earth who has not played... I, I've played two hours of Kingdom Hearts, I didn't get, like, quite latched into it, I probably feel like I need to give it a bit more patience. This was ages ago. Um, and that's saying something, given that, like, you know, usually people say that about uh, turn-based RPGs, and especially, like, you know, games like Dragon Quest, and, uh, and yet it's like, Dragon Quest is a game franchise that I absolutely love. And I was just talking about Pokemon earlier, and I was like, oh, okay, why am I getting so much hate? What is... I, I'm, like, blanking out on this jump. I'm, I'm struggling hard. Uh... All of those games, by the way, all of those remixes, whatever, they're all cloud versions. And that, I think, is including the, like, the remakes of Kingdom Hearts 1, which was a PS3, like, release. Like, we're in this kind of interesting point where, like, we've got games like The Outer Worlds, which does indeed run on the Switch, in some bizarre way, or The Witcher 3, uh, and then we've got, like, games that are new, like Dying Light 2, and it's like, oh, they've just made a cloud version, um, Control's got a cloud version, it's like, oh, okay. And then there's this, which seems to play it both ways. It's a remaster that's nearly ten years old now, uh, or nine years old, we'll just say that. Um, and, uh, they're not running it native. It's a bit bizarre, and it's also on PC as well, so I'm really scratching my head on this one. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Let me- let me click on it. Let me- let me double check. Uh, the Switch. Switch. A cloud version of the game for Nintendo Switch was not that- yeah, no, it's a cloud- it's a cloud version. Why? Why? Why can it not run native on the Switch? Who at John Favreau Nintendo? Yeah, what? Why am I, like... I've completely botched the timing here. Oh, gosh. I'll get there eventually. I'll get there. That's what the whole two-hour stream is for, just getting this one jump. Yeah, no, that's a, that's a bizarre one, so... Anyway, what else is coming out? Uh, Lost Ark, an MMORPG. Uh, this was a South Korean game, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, I got it, I got it. Okay, okay, we're locked in. So what I gotta do is... Drop down there and then just kinda like, walk out. Okay. Whoop. Uh, I don't know anything about Lost Ark. It's an MMO, and I guess MMOs are an interesting one because, like, I've got, like, very little experience with MMOs. Um, but I remember playing Lord of the Rings Online for the longest time. There we go. I can just sweep in. There we go. Get myself the drop. Easy. First try. No issues. Um, and, uh, yeah, I did enjoy playing Lord of the Rings Online for the longest time. I guess my issue is that, like, it's a lot of a time sink. It's pretty okay, I didn't mind it, but definitely like, eh. What was I getting as a payout? 
the, the daily, not daily, but just like the, the gameplay loop started getting a bit, you know, tiring for me and I'm like, yeah, no, fair enough. That's actually a number of games that I have retired, um, since that is, is that an eight or a six? Is that an eight or a six? Wow. You, you didn't reveal the last one. Oh, wow, it was an eight the whole time. They didn't reveal the last, actually, no, I could have told, I could have been able to tell. Oh, that one's on me. I told you, I'm playing it safe, so. But yeah, no, nah, haven't really, uh, haven't really gone into, um, MMOs for a while. I remember people tried getting into, um, New World. I don't know why, but sure, it was completely different this time. Move through the water was the level. Okay, what's going on here? Oh, we've got punchy dudes. There you go, there's your hundo, so... You know I'm in. Oh, really? <laughs> now they reused the tap from the early level. What's another, another game that's coming out is, oh my gosh, jeez, down I go. Uh, another one that's coming out is Dynasty Warriors 9 Empires. This is a, um, uh, the Empires release. I assume it's a super version of this game because it came out in 2018, but I played a uh, Dynasty Warriors 8 and I thought it was, uh, it's not my game. I've also tried playing Hyrule Warriors. Again, not quite my game. It, it feels a little repetitive to me, so it doesn't, it doesn't exactly click with me, but that's okay. That's okay. Uh, I don't know why uh, it's listing Star Wars The Old Republic Legacy of the Sith. Is that? That's the MMO, isn't it? So I guess that's an expansion for the MMO? Sure. I just did the jump again. I was like, yeah, I'm just going to jump over and completely forget the fact that there was a... Um, needed an enemy, so cool. Uh, here's one. Assassin's Creed The Ezio Collection. This is another... Um, PS4 port? This is a PS4 port of, uh, Assassin's Creed 2, Brotherhood, and one other one. Um, and, uh, it's coming to the Switch. So, that's cool. And also, yeah, like, we had a PS3 release not coming to the Switch, but we have a PS4 release that's coming to the Switch, and that's fine. And, and actually, I, I'm glad that, like, you know, that, that's the perfect place for games on the Switch. Like, all the titles, that can indeed run on the Switch, and I hope that, um, you know, when the Switch revisions that have more capabilities, just more of these games that did get a release a while back just gets a Switch release, because, uh, it, it kinda, it harkens back to, like, when, you know, like, Super Mario 64 DS came out on the DS, or really any of the, the Mario Advance titles, and it's like, these are super versions of the games that came out on all the systems, and you can do it on portable hardware, and that's great, I love, like, kinda definitive versions on these, uh, portable systems, um, I guess also, like, Persona 3, like, that's a, that's an example. What is happening here? Do I gotta hit a switch? Oh, there's a switch. Okay, I turn on the tap again. What do I get for turning on the tap? Do I get the, oh, okay. Uh-oh, it's Donkey Kong himself. Um, yeah, I, like, that, that's the strength of the Switch, and so no matter what, like, Nintendo does, and, uh, as much as, like, I, I will criticize, oh, as much as I'll criticize, like, uh, various things Nintendo does, such as, uh, the N64 service, um, well, Uh, yeah, yeah, as much as I criticize them. Ooh, ooh, this is, this is a bit of a tricky one, because I've got to stun him. Oh, I've got to get up here and then get in there. Oh, yep, there we go. Um, yeah, no, nah, Nintendo do alright sometimes, and I, I feel like that console is just like, it's an inevitable success. Like, there's not really, you know... There's no one really competing with the Switch. The Switch serves a purpose that doesn't get solved really anywhere else. And the only thing that really it does compete against is the fact that it costs just as much as an Xbox Series S. 
And therefore, it's just, yeah. Maybe you should just get an Xbox Series S sometime, so. Uh. How do I get on fire there? That's just for coins, but still. Oh. I wonder if that's the end of the level. I haven't got the treasures, though, I believe. Uh, yeah, okay, cool. Ah! Down I go. So, I'm gonna assume if I hit this, then... I can do something further out. So, I hit that switch, and then back out. Yeah, it doesn't really look like there's anything there, just coins. I've got 300 coins, so there's no problem. Uh... Well, I guess I can go in here. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Easy. Easy money. Easy money. Uh, next on the list of games coming out. These are all games that are coming out in February, by the way. Uh, we got King of Fighters 15. They... Managed to make enough money on 14 to just go, hey, let's just make a 15. It's a good on them, actually, because, like, that's, um, fighting games are a fran- or a, a genre that either, like, it absolutely takes off or it doesn't do that much. And, uh, SNK, they sound like they've had, like, struggles. They sound like they're definitely, like, you know, they had a glory day and that's kind of past them. They're just trying to recapture that. And no, no investor likes a company that's, you know, past their prime. Everyone likes to think that there's constant growth, and it's like, it, it's impossible to do constant growth. That's why, that's why I'm worried about like, you know, like, uh, there was a Bitcoin crash, like, last week, wasn't there? Yeah. You could nearly buy a graphics card for a good price, except then it kind of bounced back up, so... Eh. But... Uh... But, uh, yeah, like, there's a lot of money poured into, like, things for investment, and it's like, eh, I mean, are they even gonna last? Uh, it's... Is that a six? That's a six. There you go, I could tell much earlier that that was a six, because I've seen a six today. There you go, that's how you know. Alright, cool. Only seven levels to go. Seven more levels. Count them on one hand. Seven. Right there. Shock the owl. Or don't shock it, right? Oh. I wonder what the gimmick of the level is. This is gonna be a bit cruel as well, isn't it? Oh boy, here I go. Here I go. Well, there's a checkpoint at least, but... Yeah. Uh, but no, I, again... My knowledge of fighting games isn't really that great. I've definitely tried playing a handful of fighting games. I've tried playing, um... Uh, I played Fighters Megabix. So there you go, which is kind of like, um... It's... It's not Virtual Fighter. It's... There's another one. That it, it, like, hybrids. Um... So that's what that, like, tries to, tries to be like. But, like, I can kind of get into them. I feel like they're a bit too complex and a bit too, like, precise. For me to really, like, get into. I'm not very good at, like, doing precise games. Um, at least that consistently, so, and I say that knowing I'm, like, trying to thread the needle here by, like, navigating around this maze, uh, but, you know what I mean, like, really, really, like, frame-perfect, like, inputs, I'm not very good at it, it's like, give me, give me a reasonable window, I'll try and be alright, but, I, okay, well, there's, there is a door here, but I don't know where I'm going. So, yeah. What's another game that's coming out? We've got Total War Warhammer 3. That's amazing that they're up to three by now. Um, Total War is another game that I've not particularly gotten into. It actually feels like it might be one that I could get into. I tried playing um, Rome, and I didn't really, like, it didn't really gel with me that hard. Hard, and then I tried playing Shogun 2, and my computer yelled because Flash was very deprecated, and it was like, oh, you need Flash, and I was like, oh. So, um... But, I, I should give it another try, like, yeah, definitely try and get back into it. There you go. Uh, then we got Horizon Forbidden West. After the success of Forza Horizon 5, 
they're coming at it with an expand- no it's not, it's, it's uh, the sequel to uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. Um, I never played it, but I heard it was actually like pretty good when you played it. Um, and a very like genuine game as well, like not like a- like you, you get those big AAA games and it's like you can just feel like they're trying to cash grab. And this one, yeah it's a big AAA game, but it's also a AAA game with a solid idea from what I hear. And that's good. That's exactly what you want. Um, I think he got the inevitable Breath of the Wild comparisons at the time, but, you know, games in 2017, what are you going to do? Every game in 2017 is Breath of the Wild. I don't know if I need to, like, keep him alive, or... Well, there's more of them, so... I think they're just there to ruin my day, and especially because I just picked up all these coins. All these wonderful coins. I guess where am I going? Well, uh, that's the roof, so... This looks like a corner of the map. Well, that's the end of the level. Okay. Are these levels going by a bit quicker than I expected? Maybe. I'm gonna need this guy by the end. And then, let me break these blocks here. And then let's see if I need them for up here or something. Oh, punk his head. Yeah, I need him. Dang it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, so this is the sequel. Horizon uh, Forbidden West uh, exclusively for the PS4 and the PS5. It's not a, it's not a PS5 exclusive yet. Um, it might come to PC. I mean, Horizon Zero Dawn came to PC, so there you go. Uh, we've got Destiny 2, The Witch Queen, the expansion that they showed off at the Game Awards and maybe they teased beforehand. I don't know, I, I don't follow Destiny, I don't play Destiny. Uh, I'm finding out about a lot of these games, actually. We got a game called Monarch. Hold on, duck. Bottom right. We got a game called Monarch. It's apparently, uh... By... F Ooh, by land cars. That's who they are. What is it? Oh, I'm just gonna read the description on Wikipedia. Monarch takes place inside Shin Mikado Academy, a high school enveloped in a mysterious mist that drives the students mad that is sealed from the outside world by a barrier. The player is part of a group of students who gain the ability to enter an other world where the demons empowering the mist must be defeated. Uh... I, like, I don't know if that's a trope, but just, like, one, we got the high school, we got the demon world, uh, like, we got, we got two. Uh, this game's coming out for PS4, PS5, and the Switch. Uh, it's got, um, the, uh, it's got the, uh, blessing of Nippon Ichi for the localization. So, okay, <laughs> sure. Um, and yeah, that's about it. And then we got a... Next up on the list of games that are coming out, we've got Soul Cresta. I actually, I looked this one up earlier and I was like, oh, that's actually kind of neat. Uh, what is this? Four. Yeah. Uh, so Soul Cresta is like, it's like a, an arcade top-down shmup. But it's by Platinum. And I'm like, ooh, it could, it could legit have some real cool stuff about it. But I haven't looked too much into it, so I'm going to keep my eye out. Um, so that'll be cool. Uh, next up on this list, a set of course of Competizione, coming to PS5 and Xbox Series X. I hear it's actually really good. People do like it. Um, my only issue is, uh, the price on sales. That's about it. Ah. Get in there, get past it. We got another one. Cool, crushing trap. Let me in, let me in! Okay, you just gotta hold up way early. Alright, what are we doing? Oh, don't get drunk. I don't think there's a place to get drunk today. Oh, I got drunk. I got drunk, I can't believe it. Man, oh, that... Uh, that's, that's a port. Uh, what else we got? I, I just see a bunch of visual novels, you know. I'm, I'm not, I'm not reading those out. 
Uh, and then last one, Atelier Sophie 2. I really actually wanted to try and get into an Atelier game because I feel like that idea of, uh, like, it's not, a, it's not a, a sim game, but it's like it's very heavy on um, item creation. I kind of like that idea. I, I'm really enjoying still playing through Dragon Quest IX. It's, it's just forever. It's never ending that game. Uh, I'm getting there though. I've got like um, 80 or so of the quests done. Which just means there's another 100 to go, but you know what? That's okay. Monkey. Up I go. Oh. I gotta watch out for the spikes, I guess. Ooh, that's interesting. You can use it to get up there. Let's see if I can somehow figure out how to get up uh, this one. So you can go up it. You can choose when to go up it. I guess that's probably what they're trying to get me on. Or alternatively, I can just like wait here. Yeah, I can just chill here. There we go. All good. Uh, so yeah, so the next next one, again, in a long-running franchise. Uh, and then Elden Ring. I know people are hyped for that. Uh, all I'll say is, I've never been able to get into a From Software game, so I don't know. Not exactly my cup of tea, but hey, people are hyped for it, so sure. Alright, we got the one-eyed monster. Dubious little creature. There you go, top left right there. That was easy enough. <laughs> so cool. Oh, it's a Game Boy! Wow! I have 18 coins, so it better be worth it. Uh, last one that's got a release date is Grid Legends. Uh, I am a sucker for driving games, and I will probably play this at a later point in time. It depends though, because this will be the first time I've been picking up these games as part of the humble choice for the longest time, like Dirt Rally 2, um, F1 2018, uh, 2019, 2020, uh, Grid, um, the 2019 one as well. That all came out on humble choice. Will this one come out? I don't know. Probably you'll see F1 first. F1 2020. Um, they gave them out in March before, so we'll see how it goes. For boss time. Oh my gosh, jeez. Hi. Bonk. Ugh. Bonk. Bonk. Cool boss. Uh-oh. He's got the... Oh. Maybe I gotta ground pound it. Oh, oh it's a heavy... Oh. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I, I'm, I'm just trying to like acknowledge what is happening. Uh, uh, I'm down. I'm, I'm down. I'm out. So the only other two games I see on this list uh, that have TBA release dates, uh, but that slated for February, is uh, Shredders, which is a, um, a snowboarding game. I haven't looked into it, but I remember seeing a thing, um, and I don't know if they said like, oh, it could become the Steam. Maybe. Um, and then the last one is Guild Wars 2 End of Dragons, which Guild Wars 2 is an MMO. A reasonably long-running one, I guess. But I guess, you know, the Elder Scrolls Online is still up somehow. So I guess it's that. I'm always amazed, like, which MMOs, like, somehow last as well. Data harvesting, maybe that's why. Uh, but yeah, all of that is, like, that's a surprising amount of, like, titles that, like, you'd probably recognize. Ugh! Um, and they're all coming out February, the shortest month in the year- Ah, oh, they baited me. They baited me. This is a rather punishing, like, like, out of the boss room as well, because it's just, like, all these, like, slow traps. And then you gotta do the top one as well anyways, just to get back in. Done. Yep. Come on. Come on. Come on, warrior. Come on, warrior. I'm holding up and he's not liking it. I don't know, my controller's 100% dork. What a shame. 
But yeah, no, I, I'm actually, I'm really looking forward to, like, all these games coming out. There's gonna be something new every week. We're gonna have something maybe to talk about, maybe not in the first week. Uh, I don't know. I don't think I've got too much to say about Dying Light 2. Oh. Down the pit it goes. Uh, but, you know what, like, that's pretty neat. I'm looking forward to it. And who knows, what's, what'll be in freebies? What'll be in, uh, Xbox Game Pass? Are they gonna do an upper one? Yep, an upper decker, if you will. Oh, okay. So I've got to, I've got to watch it. Oh, is there a sign that it's like going high or low? Or just kind of watch it go high or low. Ooh. Why? That's a new one. How dare you do that? Now I gotta, now I gotta do it again. Can't believe it. Oh well, so that's all good. Anyways, I've been playing uh, a couple of uh, repeat games uh, because I'm playing two really long games. Uh, the one I'm playing is uh, Breath of the Wild: Legend of Zelda again, um, and it's uh, it's still continuing to be a rather interesting game on a replay because I I'm very aware of what's going on. So right now I'm moments away from beating the second DLC. I've kind of rushed to. Uh, to go get it because I know the reward is great and I'll leave that as a mystery for anyone who hasn't played the game But uh, what it involves is a lot more shrines and puzzles uh, And all of those are bit oh it even bumps you as well ah oh! um, It involves a lot of like rather tricky puzzles and uh, stuff that like meshes in with the game really well like it's got cutscenes um, uh, That are just like the the cutscenes as part of the main story um, which are completely optional as well, by the way. <laughs> uh, but also just like the the puzzles are really neat. The um, they bring back the characters. Um, you know, like like just like incidental characters come back just to be like, oh, I was looking for this. And excuse me, excuse me. That was a bit of an excuse me moment. I <laughs> I don't know what's going on there. Oh, uh, game uh, game glitch, game glitch. That's the one. Uh, yeah, no, I, I'm definitely really enjoying it. It's, it's a bit interesting on master mode still. It's like, it's punishing me for not taking out enemies quickly because master mode has regenerating health on the enemies. Uh, they don't regenerate all their health, but they'll bring back at least a quarter, including the bosses. And that gets real obnoxious. Real obnoxious when the bosses are just like, yo, I'm gonna just... You know, punish you because I'm gonna teleport and it's just like eh. so you're forced into doing like kind of a an aggressive strat on the bosses It's not impossible But it's definitely one you gotta like You know you gotta know how to do it off the top of your head. I guess it's master mode. You're probably playing on a second playthrough ah, oh, oh, No Mmm mm, I'm biting my lip right now. That's a that's a doozy and a half right there. Ah, oh. ah, oh. pain, pain, and pain and suffering. My my up and comings, if you will. Is that the phrase? I don't know. <laughs> ah. The worst part is that I feel like Captain Zerbs here is gonna be done the moment I get this right. Oh. Jumped in very early on that one. There we go. Ugh. Bonk. Alright, alright. Challenge mode, challenge mode. Well, okay. Is it gonna go high? No. Nope. Oh. It's only like two flashes. Oh. Wow, look at that! I'm a- I'm a god, I- I did it first try. So cool! That's the end of the game. Again. <laughs> Not much money on that one. Alright, time to do the numbers, yet again. You know, I'd still recommend Breath of the Wild. Uh, and then the other one was, uh, still playing Dragon Quest IX, just lots of quests. Um, interestingly, I'm at this, like, 
I'm kind of like I'm not, I'm not saying uh, like you know you got you got to effectively look up a, a list a compendium of all the guides and all the things that you want to be able to do and how to understand the grottos and uh, the the class progression you probably don't need to look up after a while because it's like inevitable you're gonna level up everything and you're also probably gonna farm up metal king slimes for a while or um uh, there's one after jewel slimes I think. I haven't actually found any in the grottos yet, so... Anyway, Warrior defeats Captain Syrup. Somewhere else. <laughs> Captain Syrup flies into space and falls into the clutches of the Manhattan... Uh... <laughs> capitalist structures that bound her to begin with. Meanwhile, Warrior reaps the rewards. Unaware that his greed is the cause of all struggles in the world. I don't know. I don't know, man. <laughs> Well, that's Warrior Land 2. Again. Have some fun credits, why not? Uh, but yeah. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm I still enjoying playing uh, Dragon Quest, even if it is, like, somewhat a, a checklist game at this point. Uh, but no, I, I'm definitely having a good time playing it, so that's good. Uh, were there any other games I played? No, that's about it, actually. I had a couple of games I, um, I effectively abandoned. I played them a bit, and then I just kind of, like, tuned out. Um, so I'm gonna, like, mention them. Uh, the first one was, um, a game called, uh... Uh, called... Ride. Uh, this is a bike game by... Who made it? Who made the game? I'm looking it up. By Milestone. And, uh, Milestone also make the, uh, WRC game. So I haven't really played anything from them, but... Ride, uh, I got for very cheap, and it goes for very cheap. It's actually, I looked it up, it is currently $2.89 with a $2.15 season pass. Like, that's, uh, it was dirt cheap, but it's not dirt. Um, but I played it for a bit, and you know what? It's fairly competent. It's got a handful of tracks, not a ton, but you know, enough to give a bit of variety. Uh, some fake circuits, some real circuits, some kind of city tracks. Uh, and it's also got quite a number of bikes, and it tries to be a little bit Gran Turismo, like, it's like, oh, you can only use certain bike classes in certain races, and you can upgrade the bikes, except the upgrades are incredibly, like, cheap, like, you can basically just go through the list and just go ding, 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 after a while, like, a really quick while, like, after, like, six races, and there you go. Um, the game, I found, is a bit tricky. It's a bit hard to, like, I guess, know how to do a like, steering in that game. Because effectively, I don't know, maybe this is a bike thing and I'm just not used to it, but like, I always feel, you know, you slow down, go to the, the, the corner, and then when you hit the apex, you accelerate. But on a bike, it's kind of like you gotta slow down and then you just gain all this traction to ride through the corner, but don't pick up the throttle until you're basically on the straight because you can't accelerate and turn at the same time. It's a bit, it's throwing me off, but like, I guess that's how it works, maybe? I don't know. Um, the reason why I abandoned it is because it corrupted my save four hours in. I looked it up and apparently people had this issue with when they basically got to the end of the game, the game would corrupt their save. Uh, but it's something that happens and I, it's, it's got Steam Cloud and unfortunately you can't tell Steam Cloud, hey, can I get the backup from this date? I wish you could. If I can, Gabe Newell, if you're out there, Bill Gates, Microsoft. Uh, please let me know how, like, how you can do that, because that'd be pretty cool. Otherwise, I'd have to effectively start the game again and maintain my own backups, which is not too bad, but it's definitely... Man, do I have to do that for a game? This game came out in 2015. It, like, you know, people complain about Skyrim not getting patches, but it's like, you know, this is like half that time. And it really should. But, eh. Uh, the game looks okay. Not amazing. Not, not like, tremendously great for 2015. It definitely looks like a late Xbox 360 title, except it's 2015, and it's like... Mm, it's, it's cutting that point real fine. Uh, the UI is a little bit... basic? A little bit basic. Um... You know what? Like, it does okay. It does alright. Um... So I didn't mind it. Uh, just, yeah, watch out for the save thing. Uh, maybe I'll come back to it later. I, I kind of got a, a good idea of it in four hours. The other one I played was another racing game called Red Out. This is a... I guess they market it as it's Wipeout and F-Zero combined into one. How, what is it exactly? It's very Wipeout. I'll just go with that. But what I found, what I felt is that it controls 
really poorly. It just, it's so glidey. You just, you can't steer without really ramming into a wall. And that's kind of the intended way of going about it. Just like, instead of slowing down and accelerating, just slam into a wall and go on from there. And I'm like, eh, that's a bit, eh. And then on top of that, I'm trying to go for these gold medals. And some of them are just like, just very, very difficult. And I just don't know what car they really intend for you to use. Um, we're nearly there, by the way. So let me get the game a reboot. And let's, let's go ahead with the uh, remaining levels. The remaining five levels of this game. Uh, but yeah, no, I didn't really, it didn't really click with me. Oh yeah, we got a spooky mansion. Didn't really click with me. Um, this is after three hours. I'm up to like class three. So like, there's only four classes of cars in the game, but each one progressively gets faster and a bit better than the rest of the sets. Um, the tracks are neat. I appreciate the number of tracks it's got. The, the music's doing all right. The visuals do all right, except it's a little, it's a little blurry. Maybe I gotta like tweak the game a bit, but like, they make a big point about how, like how if you're going um, like vertically upwards, as in like if you're like if the road is banking away from you, so it's like you'd get sucked into your you know sucked downwards because you're trying to turn up. Um, the screen kind of like starts to black out, and then if you go the reverse, it starts to red out. Now that's where the name of the game is. Um, but it's just like, oh, is this a boss rush level? I forgot what it is. It's got spiders and very odd walls, but... Ooh. Ah, uh, ooh. I'm just gonna hope they intended for me to be able to do this. Is there a door up here? And I'm just like... Exactly, am I looking for it? Who knows? Uh, yeah, no, it didn't really click with me, so I'm calling it a bit there, just three hours. Uh, I don't quite feel like I got my money's worth, but three hours is past the refund period, so alas. Uh, but maybe I'll get back into it later. Uh, there is a chicken here. Who put the chicken here? There's a chicken on the door. Who put the chicken on the door? What a mystery. Oh, maybe I go in the room and then I come back out and they're replaced with that kind of enemy? Yeah. Okay, that's an interesting dilemma. There's a zombie. Hi there. Time for a terrible sneeze. Oh my gosh, I sneezed on stream. Can't believe it. That's nah, okay. Uh, but. Yeah, so. I've always felt a little bit pressured to beat a game. And sometimes actually, like, I've definitely played a lot of games where I've not beaten them. I've definitely like kind of given up early and gone like, oh, that's it. That's my limit. A bit too much of a grind. There's especially a number of games where it's like, there's a hundred percent category or, or, um, or just criteria. And like for some of those, it's like, yeah, no, I, I call it. It's like, there's a hole there. Um, some of those games I call it, other games, it's like, like this one, for example, where it's like, oh, I feel very happy doing the, the 100%, because it's like, oh, that turns one and a half streams into four streams, and on top of that, this game is really interesting when you do this, uh, kind of extra content. It's like, whoa. Like, this game's got, like, all these, ugh, it's got all these secret levels, and it's got, like, all these cool ways that it can, you know, reuse the mechanics in different kinds of levels. On top of that, I don't think we had a spooky level. Um, yeah, I don't think we've had a spooky level yet, so... So that's cool. Ah! It was a curse the whole time. So yeah. Uh, but... Yeah, I, 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 I sometimes feel like I've definitely tried to, tried to play games and, and try and get, uh, I guess those 100% criteria when you really shouldn't have to. Um, and then there's, you know, I, at the risk of the inverse, if there's a game that I don't play enough and the 100% criteria, I can't go in there. Okay. All right. Uh, 
Oh, uh, but you know what I mean? It's like there's there's some games out there where it's like I might have actually switched them off a little too early. I might have missed out. But you never know, really, I guess. Oh, really? I can't chuck that guy in there. Like he's just gonna Hold on. Real strong throw. Yeet! No, he's 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 not. I'm gonna trust these guys. Or well, this guy, I guess. He's a lighter guy, maybe that's why. The other guy was heavy, slowing down. Oh, he's very dead. Okay, um... This is the chicken room, maybe... Can, can I get enough height off? No, not off that guy. This is a dark room, but like... Do they even want me in here? Like, I got no clue, man. Maybe there's a button? No, because I should be able to see it then. This is... yeah, this is a bit bizarre. And then we got the chickens. And then, like, the chickens... the, the chickens have the same problem, where, like... The, uh, I, I, that doesn't look like it opens up, though. Nah. Okay, well, let's go back in here, just to... Uh... Oh. It do be like that. It do be like that. Uh, but yeah, on top of that, I there's a number of games uh, that have uh, little secrets and things to, to get that well, like, out of the beaten path. Like, you're not going to be able to find them, really, unless it's, like... It's like a little Easter egg or something like that. Um, I often find- oh yeah, whoops, accidentally ignored this door. Um, I often find that like I just sometimes ignore those if they're a bit out of the way. And I actually, um, there's a number of games where it's like, I feel like I've looked it up later on and gone, oh, okay. Like I look up something on, on YouTube and it's like, oh, like that makes sense or just something about it. I actually, I, I remember I, um, I played Xenoblade X for the longest time and then I got like, effectively, uh, hard locked because I was stuck in a, um, stuck in a quest and I was at level 60 and I just was in a terrible, terrible mech and I couldn't switch it or something like that. And it's just like, yeah, stuff like that. So there's probably, there's bits of Xenoblade X that I haven't seen, but I got pretty done. Like, far through it, so it's just like, eh, like, what do you do? Okay. We hit a switch. And now, I can see everything. Like, you wouldn't be able to see these platforms. Ah, this is where the money is hiding. I knew it the whole time. Can't believe it. Can't believe they were doing this to me. So what were they hiding in this room then? Ah. Well, more platforms for a start, but also like, hmm. Oh, a door. With more money. Cool. Everyone loves money. Especially me. And then back in this room, we got a guy, and then that's that. I guess that's that. Cool. Okay. Uh, but yeah, yeah, I always, I never know, like, what's the consistent rule for, like, when you should try and 100% something and when you shouldn't. Uh, because on the one hand, it's like, I kind of want to feel like I get my money's worth, but then on the other hand, there's a number of games out there that are just like, it's not worth it. Uh, the Breath of the Wild example is really good. Oh, look at that. Um, where it's like, you know, as much as, like, I enjoyed playing that game the first time, 900 Korok Seeds. That gets real grating after a while. Okay, Duckman, Duckman. It's a duck, it's a man. Ooh, I didn't catch, I didn't catch it. Oh boy. Oh boy, I'm at 69 coins. I'm at 69 coins. We gotta... 
Okay, let's see if I can get some coins somewhere. There's bound to be more coins. Elsewhere, just, uh... Wait, what's this guy doing here, then? There's, like, nothing in that room, otherwise. This room looks like it might have had everything, but we'll see. Over, over and out. Alright, so you fall down the crack, which I think that's probably the trick, is that it's not easy to see that there's a crack there. And then you go up and over. Oh boy. I remember this, uh, this bit in, uh, Super Mario World. And down I go. Okay, cool. I just wanted right. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I guess, yeah, there's something spoken to, like, the value of games. I feel like I own way too much, like, weird stuff on Steam, and I, I, I don't make it easier on myself, let's just say that. Um, some of those games, I don't know if I'd actually, like, feel comfortable playing them. Like, some of them are definitely, like, games that are just, like, they're, how do I phrase it? Like, they're AAA games, and they're, like, genres I'm not, like, particularly as fond of, or... Whoops. So, I don't know. But then, like, you know, sometimes I find a, a gem. Is this where the spear guy is? Do I just... Do I just, uh, cave in? Let's cave in. Oh, he had the money on him the whole time. No, that was a bit of a simple level than I was expecting, but still, like, ah, didn't get the treasure. Alright, let's, let's do it. You know what's good? At least they don't rotate the, um, the little icons. That'd be painful. Are we dealing with a nine or a five? Oh, oh, we're dealing with a five. Okay. Okay. I was, I was gonna, like, abruptly lock in with nine, but no. No, it's a, it's a five. And down in the corner it goes. Only four of those to go. I'm gonna go back and get that one treasure because, like, I'm totally gonna miss it otherwise. Yep, I get it. I get where I've gone. Cool. Alright, so I need to spawn the guy in. What's the best way to get a hundred, a hundred gold? Ugh. I guess you just need to go all the way up here, don't you? You don't even have to... Ah, there we go. Done. Uh... Yeah, I guess while I'm at it, I feel like I'm also in the last hour of Warrior Land 2. Because uh, I'm expecting to, to finish the game uh, real soon. I mean, we've only got me getting this treasure and then four more levels. And then a super secret... Oh, ah, a super secret uh, level just to, just to top things off. Uh, I'm still blown away by like how much is in this game. Like, this is... And I mean, if you're playing the uh, the Game Boy Color, sorry, the, the regular Game Boy version, there's, I don't believe there's any, um, like, extra content the Game Boy Color version has, it's just in color. And it might run nice, I, I feel, but like, that's it. Um, so, like, that's, that's a lot of levels, like 51 levels, I guess, like, you, you could go, oh, what about the length of the levels, but like, there's a lot of effort in this game, and, and I feel like it's a wonderfully unique title. Like, there's so many interesting, um, you know, mechanics, uh, lots of different kinds of enemies, they toy around with it in wonderful ways. I wonder if I could just go in the door anyways. I think it was there, yeah. I could just go in the door, except this is where the, uh, the level ended, didn't it? Yeah. Oh, 
Alas, this is not a door. Ah. Back I go. Back I go. Down. Down the slope. Back out we go, through the hole, oh, hi there. Boop. Not caring about that guy, and now I gotta wander through this, this wonderful corridor, the Medusa corridor if you will. Ah! Sometimes I struggle, and I'm not too sure why. Alright, up I go. Okay, well, that. Mm, mm. I think this game actually, like, <laughs> it's irritating, but it's also, like, it's irritating for a completely different reason. Like, you expect a game to, you know, give you health, and it's punishing because. Um, you know, it's like, oh, you can only take three hits before you, you lose a level, and it's like, oh, okay, like, something like that. This game is like, you can take as many hits as you want, but I'm going to waste your time. It's a, like, a wonderful, um, is inversion the word I'm using? No, it's not really inverting anything, but like, well, I guess everything is time and money, and in the sense of Wario Land, it certainly isn't money. Is that, is that the phrase? Maybe. Whoa, that ah, mm, ch chases me down down the hole. You're coming with me, buddy. You're coming with me. Alright, there we go. Enough for one spin at the roulette. The slots. The type of uh, game that will get you banned in multiple states. Gambling in video games, man, that's a topic. Like, I don't know, we haven't had the, uh, oh wait, it was him here, wasn't it? We haven't had the, uh, the loot box discussion in, in ages, but uh, I wonder if maybe are we past that stage. Did we solve loot boxes? Or have I just been blind to new games? Who knows? Okay, let's pay real close attention. Alright, Chef Boyardee, right here. Look for Chef Boyardee. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay, I it's like, it didn't quite lock in my head, I was like, oh, is this one it? Is this one it? So good. Have I got the time? I guess. Uh, so rather than finishing the level, let's... Save. And then the game just goes back to the menu and I hit continue, and I'm like, yeah, no, I'm going to another level. Cool. Hold on to the out. Oh, is this the same, <laughs> the same concept as the last level? Sorry, as the uh, the earlier level of just like navigating a maze with an owl, maybe. Ooh, ooh. Oh my gosh, look at all this stuff. I need to hold on to an owl after looking at that. Got a wonderful door. Ooh, this is that is a jump. That is a jump and a half. Jeez. Yeah, you see that? That's that's a doozy right there. I hit it, I hit it. I'm just gonna accept that I just hit that. So what does hitting that actually do? Maybe it reveals some switches? I hope I don't have to regularly hit the switches. Ah, 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 I'm down. Uh, over and up. Is that going up? Ah, this one's gonna be the, the wonderfully in the middle. There we go. Alright, bird. And I'm out. I'm out already. Cool. <laughs> cool. Alright, come on. Come on, spiky thing. Do these spiky things remind you of any other games? Maybe. They might for me. They remind me of Warrior Land 2. 
Oh. How many... Okay, real talk, actually. How many Mario games involve, um, grabbing onto an owl? Someone at Nintendo would have done that regularly. <laughs> to just, like, come up with the idea so many times. It was it Miyamoto himself? He'd grab onto owls. <laughs> Why owls in particular? What did they ever do to him? Uh, does this blow... It does blow you back, but not before I can grab the moolah. And then try to do this platforming again. Alright, cool. Cool. Platforming. Good platforming. And that's the end of the level? Alright, we got it now. Up I go. Up I go. I'm still going up. I'm going up. I guess they want me to drop the owl and open this up. I wonder if they'd get me to keep holding on to the owl. Maybe. Okay, I need an enemy to flick a switch. Okay, cool. I now have an enemy to flick onto the switch. Bonk. Oh. Bonk. Ah, uh, it, okay. Uh. I'm, I'm gonna need your friend. You help one more friend. There you go. Easy stuff. Easy money. Right there. Uh. Yeah, they probably want me to hold on to that. And now I'm back down here? Okay. Uh, well, I say back down, but I'm not really back anywhere. Because I wasn't there before. I guess one thing is uh, definitely late 90s level design of... You know, you've kind of seen the same kinds of corridors over and over again. I don't know, I feel like adding 50 levels and just all the joys of 50 levels, you know? Right, don't fall down, whatever you do. Is there a bonus out here? Oh! Hey! This is some negative zone stuff right here, like... It keeps going! Oh, almost. Okay, it's just that. Alright, see ya, bird. Well, that's a neat secret. So I assume they just want me to come up here, and now that I've hit the switch twice, I should be able to... Find something new, I guess that's what they're going for. Uh, well, I guess this switch is here, but now I've got the bird, so it's... Uh, I don't really know how to, how to explain that, I'm just going. Ah! Alas, it was fun. Oh, I've done it twice. Well, that's the end of the level. Okay, well. Start the level afresh, because I feel like there was a lot at the beginning I didn't investigate. Time to play another, another flip the panels. Three, two, one, go. Alright, what's the number? We gotta line up the top. It could be six. It could be... It, it is just six, isn't it? Or it could be five. Oh boy, did I just do this to myself? Oh my god! <laughs> I hastily did it. Ugh, I don't feel comfortable. I really don't feel comfortable. Oh my goodness, jeez. Uh, so again, back in the level. Gotta find... Find the thing. There was like so much going on at this beginning part, and I just kind of like managed to exit it immediately. So, like, I don't think I ever touched that owl or any of the other pathways here. So, there's all those coins locked off. Uh, 
There's all those coins locked off. Like, you need the hour in order to investigate this area, so... That all makes sense. Now I'm just gonna do this fun jump again. Whoa. There we go. That's not too bad. Alright, and then... Come down here... To then be able to... Visit... The bird. So now, he's opened up this... Which will let me get a bunch of coins. I go further along here, more coins. Cool, okay, well that's the hundred, so that's not too bad. I guess what I get for not finishing the level is the opportunity to save these coins for... Ah! Okay, don't go too risky. Don't go too risky. Across we go. Lots of coins. Oh yeah, did the 3050 come out? I think the 3050 came out in in uh, my time of absence in the past week. Card looks okay. Kind of getting gouged a bit. Really should be a bit less, but you know what? Like, yeah, sits within it where everything else is. Hopefully that means that 2060s come back. That's my thoughts. There you go. Easy. No, I feel like it came out last week, didn't it? Maybe. I saw it bottom left. Dinky, dinky. Throw that tag away, I don't need it. The Bible, right there. Well, okay, well. Hold on, so my money's at 1540, and then plus 49 there. So if I hit continue, and I just go to another level, does it save my money? Away to the open door. Nope, it does not save my money. <laughs> ah, mouse. Uh, we got five doors. Cool. I did it, it's the end of the level. Gosh darn heckin' monkey. Get out of here. Oh, I got debated. Did it. I set a Twitch term. Live, on stream. We got a down arrow right there. And we got more money, cool, okay. Oh, everyone's favorite enemy, everyone's favorite enemy, the one that's resistant from dashes on the front. Everybody loves him. Cool, okay, I've wandered back to the start. Now five is open again, but one is also open. What do you do here? You just kind of let him go? Uh, sure. Oh boy. It's gonna take a bit of time, isn't it? Maybe not. Cool, okay. Uh, uh, well, maybe not. They pan a card, I swear. They're going. They're going. Jeez. Yeah. Uh, I wonder if um February is going to be a nice, uh, nicer climate. I swear, I'm like stinking hot. Maybe not right now, but like I've had like so much time. Also, that's being blocked off. So, mm. uh, but I've had like so much time I've spent where it's just like. It gets so incredibly humid within my room. I'm just like sweating, sweating in bed the whole time. I am now Zamboni. A good thing they have a window there. Um, cool, okay. Now we got three open. More money, cool. Okay, cool. 
Uh, but yeah, no, nah, like, the weather has been, like, absolutely horrendous for me, I don't know why. And not just, like, like, I don't know exactly, but it's like, it, it, it feels like it's pretty simple Sydney weather of just, like, getting incredibly, like, just, you know, muggy, but, like, I don't know, I feel, it's kicking me a bit harder, maybe my aircon's just not working. I've got, like, very weak aircon as well, it doesn't hit my room, unless, uh, the door is open. And, uh, at that point... Oh, okay, cool. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. What we got? We got the Dog Breath. Is, is that his name? Dog Breath? Yeah, I guess. I did not catch that. I did not catch any of that. I'm just going to go bottom right. Nah. Ah, it- that is my blind spot right there. That one panel. And this is- this is the third level, isn't it? So, there's only gonna be two more of these. Alright, Duckman, Duckman. Okay, I, I'm looking straight at him that time. <laughs> easy, easy money. But alas, it does mean not as much money for the end. Yeah, it's, it's fine. There's three levels, I've got like plenty of money. Alright, cool. Alright, two's open. So I'm jumping through. I've got some blocks. Oh, I get a spooked because there's a bird. Ah, I get spooked because there's a bird. Ah, I get spooked because there's a bird. And then I hit a switch and... Back out I go, and I assume that switch moves the, the block higher in all the other rooms, which means I could just leave, can't I? Well, no, actually, I, I can't leave. This is Hotel California, dang it. It's like I can go down here. And now five's open. Cool. And then I can just end the level by going past the monkey. There you go. Cool level. Neat level. Alright, time to play the minigame. I feel like, yeah, if you want coins, just... Like, get all the treasures and you don't have to spend coins. Uh... Could be zero, could be eight, could be zero, could be eight, you can't tell, you can't, it's six. Ooh, ooh. I got thrown for a fast one there. But nah, uh, it's, it's just six the whole time. Okay, another, another piece on the map. Two more levels, count them on two hands, two more levels. Coming back is difficult. Oh, you know it. You appreciate the haunted house aesthetic that we've had going on for a handful of levels now. Also, that's kind of neat, because you can break these blocks and, yeah. Oh, gosh. So I guess the question is, what game comes after Warrior Land 2? Like, on the list of games, I need to, like, revisit as part of me playing the games poorly. I was gonna say, well, like, Earthbound's still sitting there, that's the one that's like the big key one off the top of my head. Uh, but then I'm thinking... Ah... That, like, Siva Gunner got hit! Was it Siva Gunner or Giva Sama? One of them. I think it was Siva Gunner. He got hit so hard recently just because uh, Nintendo decided to update their content ID system. And wouldn't you know, look how many songs... We're clashing with something, or with, with a remix, so there we go. Music's taken down. People complain. Nothing changes. You know what I mean? I always find, like, content ID to be, like, a very unfortunate, like, part of YouTube. And it's also, like, it's a... And, oh, here goes Mundo, talking about the copyright again. I just realized, like, it <laughs> comes up so many times, but, like, legit, it's like, oh, it's so unfortunate that, like... The only way that you can protect your intellectual property is to prevent, like, the attempt of transformative work. 
transformative work can still exist, and it should still exist on a legal note, but like... We create all these automatic systems to try and stop people from attempting to make something that could be t uh, transformative, but you don't know, and they don't know, but... Yeah, so... Uh, oh boy. Alright, just, just kind of run off where these guys were. I believe you could... Could you jump up here, or no, you had to go all the way? Ah, jeez. There you go. Oh boy, where do these guys come from? Cool. Cool duck. Yeah. I see a platform there, I'm just curious if there's like something back over here. Uh, d a complete dead end, but I guess I can go back out down here, can't I? So I want to be in that door, don't I? Yeah, I definitely want to be in that door. Alright, dodge the ghost. Ooh, that's a, that's a platform. Okay, cool. Cool. It's like speed. I'm going on normal, because I'm a normal guy. The average fella, the average Joe. Rip people would want to play on easy the whole time because it's just oh all your money's gone. Stop right. Cool. Okay, only one more of these to go. Oh my gosh. Mario's booze stash. Right there. Ah, Alright, so I should be able to just like go back in and then like into that one door that's up here now. Which should hopefully lead to... Go- oh wait, I need the ghost! I need the ghost! Because I need to fall through the floor! There you go. That's cool. Uh, even if it's just for coins. Dang it. Alright, that's... Never mind, never mind the fact. Uh, more coins, I guess? Oh, and I guess more coins, because, like, that's where the wall was. But maybe there is a door in one of them. Who knows? Not me right now, because I'm not experimenting with that theory. But, like, this guy's a heavy boy, isn't he? Yeah. Oh. Uh. Ah, yeah, it's just for just for more coins. Lots of coins, but still coins nonetheless. Maybe there is something back out here. Oh, I just realized I've actually got to go to that bottom path. Also, while I'm at it, just this is open, but nah, it's just coins. Yeah, because it blocks me off from. Trying to go on the uh, upper part, so that's a thing. And then I want to dodge this guy. And then dodge this guy. There we go, because now I can get back up here to this door, which is now going to lead me to salvation, lead me to the end. There you go. Cool. Nice level. Easy level. Or has got his booze stash. There he goes. Doesn't need any more treasure. Oh, he's already got 49. Alright, countdown. 3, 2, 1. Let's go. Let's do it. Uh, it's either 0, 1 or 7. It's either 0 or 7. It's now 7. They made that one rather clear. <laughs> there we go. Another, another vertical slice of the chunky map. And it goes into place. Almost done. Almost done. One spot left. One level left. Capture the
the ghost. Alright, well, I guess... Yeah, it's like, oh, I wonder where the ghost is. Everyone's a ghost. I took the hit anyways. Uh, there's a bunch of platforms, okay. And there's a switch. Which looks like I can bonk this and jump up into it. There you go. Oh no, that's another sneeze. Good thing I can mute this time. Oh boy. Oh boy. Sneezes are always the worst, aren't they? I'm actually worried I don't have enough, um, coins. Oh. That's a real interesting way they've laid this out, so I'm gonna investigate that first room again. Ah! Listen, it's the last level, at least for for me. I don't think I don't think they necessarily intended for this to be everyone's last level, but it's like, oh, if they're gonna if they're gonna be mean about the coins, they're gonna be mean about it in this level. Ah, oh, the. They're going to be mean about it to me in particular. It's not even Halloween. Like, what's going on, man? It's Chinese New Year. You've got your holiday wrong. Is there a spooky element to Chinese New Year or not really? I don't think there is. Well, I could definitely say that will help quite a fair bit. As long as I don't have to deal it with these guys. Okay, back down we go. I wonder as well, like there's a door on the right there. So I wonder if I'm just like going down the rabbit hole of... I'm actually curious what's in the other door. Oh boy. Yeah, I was like, wait a minute. I need to be able to break my way up here. This is a bit of an interesting, uh... Oh yeah, he's gonna fall all the way down. Oh. There we go. That's a, that's a bit of an interesting dilemma, isn't it? And there's a, the same thing on the left? Yeah, there totally is. Maybe I should just go for it, just in case I get it wrong. Okay, up I go, up I go, around I go, and... Oh. Loads of money! That's the name of the, the, the video title, that's the one. And there's two doors here. So where does the right one go? Ah, I guess where the boss spits you out. So I assume maybe the, the door underneath to the right is where the boss spits you out. Oh, sorry, where the boss is. So this has another switch and nothing else really in it. Okay, cool. I get it, because it was a freezy enemy. And then... Door. Ton... Draw ghosts. Who put them here? What is their purpose? I am the ghost of the underwear drawer. Fear me. Uh, oh yeah, I can jump that, can I? Yeah. <laughs> so I guess I can go up here, grab a bunch of coins. I love how, like, the, um, the background doesn't quite, like, alias correctly. Okay, so that's... That's down on the ground, but I can use that to get up there. 
I appreciate this, like, pushing the... What is this? I don't know, pushing the metal object to use as a platform. That's always a cool mechanic. Oh. The trick to beating a zombie is just to touch him in his tummy. He doesn't like it there. Dude, if zombies ever come out and it's like everyone's got like the worst advice on how to like deal with zombies, I swear. Never mind also like he got like all the tangential ones, he got like the zombie romance. That's always a thing, is it? Okay, cool, cool. Let's see if I can get it first try. Okay, we got the... the guy. I did not see it at all, so let's go with the one that I never see anything on. Ah, oh, dang it. <laughs> I was looking way over to the right. Cool, okay, the very, very last one, and it's the exact same puzzle every time. They didn't even change it up, like, between beating the game, and they still were just like, yeah, nah. Nah. Okay, snout man, snout man. Oh boy, did I just actually... Okay. I didn't even... I'm, I was getting worse at these today, I swear. I swear I've actually, like, just weakened how how poor I am at these. Okay, cool. It's a little spooky skull. Again. Everyone loves spooky skull. Do not have a spooky skull? There's a spooky skull inside you right now. I know, right? also, nice, I've got to flip the switch again. Wait, so how do I do that? Oh, they've got the two blocks here. Yeah. Got to deal with the zombie, the Zamboni. Cool, okay, Zamboni's out of the way. Back to the door, and let's let's head to the boss, dude. It's actually it's really like bizarre. Like now that you know the game is nearly done. Okay, cool. You, you could get bonuses, or you could just you know go for the boss. Who's the boss? Well, that's a ghost, I guess. What is Warrior afraid of? The other six deadly sins, I guess. Oh. He like comes down at you. Ooh. Whoa, he's coming at an angle. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh. He came down straight on me. That is that's a bit spooky, man. That's a spooky boss. Just absolutely terrorizes you from above. Uh, and then I've got to hit the switch again because. There we go. That should make the, the route a bit easier. Up, down, and then just back around. Okay, cool. Alright, take two on, on the ghost. Technically, Captain Syrup should just be on the ledge above me. Ugh. I, I love the way that like he reacts to just like you hit him. This game is some great sprite work. Nice and nice and comical and cut. Oh my gosh! The red one throws me off because I don't expect him to land like directly on me, and also not that soon. But that one's on me, I guess. And he's running off again. Is it a bird ghost? Ah, very, very close there. Ah! Ah, no! What a cruel fate. I have encountered. I have witnessed. I have forborn. Is that the word I'm looking for? I don't even know, man. I don't even know. 
But yeah, I'd, I'd love to, like, find some more games as well, just to play on stream. I feel like there's a, there's a handful of, like, extra games as well that I know of. I don't want to just be playing all the same games that I've been playing since the, uh, dawn of time. Like, Warrior Land 2 is, like, this was back in the day when I uploaded, like, every part to a game in, like, one day. Oh, that was it? Oh, four hits? Okay, cool. But yeah, I, I went back through my catalog and I realized some of these Let's Plays, I think I played these games, like, at home just over the course of, like, two afternoons. Just, like, through all the videos in Movie Maker, uh, like, rendered 11-minute, like, sectioned clips, and then just upload them all to YouTube on the same day. And this was before you could, uh, you could, um, schedule uploads to publish, so it's just like, yeah. Uh, this could be eight, it could be zero. Oh, it's actually zero. Actually zero. That's how many of these treasures I have left. Zero. That is it. This is the, this is the whole, almost the whole game. There's one, one small bit. So hooray, hurrah. The treasure is complete. But we've got an outro to do first. Well, first of all, great, perfect. Now let's go get the syrup's treasure. But yeah, it, it just says that. Um, so yeah, so this is the outro of yet again another ending. Is this what, ending number five? I think it is. So there's five endings. I guess? Yeah. The actual game ending... Maybe there's four endings. Ah, oh, where he gets... He, he gets baited. And it was all a dream. It was all a dream! What a tremendous way to end the game. Just, like... What a wonderful way to end the game. So, but, yep. There's one, one small last, last thing. We have to go get Syrup's treasure. Which I guess makes sense, because, like, you're going after your own treasure this whole game. No matter which ending you're going, you're going after... Syrup going after you. I'm I'm definitely looking out for more games to play and more kinds of more more things that I think will be fun for a stream. It'll be cu I'll be curious like kind of just what I end up locking locking onto, but yeah, I hope to to play more more kinds of things. Do I have anything in mind? Nope. I could give a hint last time, but now I'm just like yeah, no, I've got no clue. I'm probably gonna you know, spend a bit of time actually actually thinking about it. Should be alright. And here comes Warrior away on his balloon, or is that Captain Syrup on the balloon? It's got a skull on it, it must be Captain Syrup. Because they're evil, apparently. Interesting as well, they they decide to do a recurring villain of Captain Syrup. Um, they're not the villain of Warrior Land 3 or 4, and they're there as a side character in uh, Shake It. But they're not actually the, uh, the main villain in any of the other games, but they are in this one, they are in the original. Again, I'll still say Captain Syrup is a hundred percent, you know, the greatest Mario character to never see any like. Does Captain Syrup ever shown up in a Smash game? Who knows? It's kind of weird as well. Just like we're in a post Smash universe now. Smash is done. If they make a new Smash game, I don't even know what they're gonna do. But. Done all the fighters, the, the done no more of that uh like oh this character has been suggested since day one. It's like nah. It's all over. And I, I that's a real like that's a real interesting like DLC model, because it's just like one, it's fairly pricey. I don't know how people price fighting games, but like it's always a tough sell for me, because like, I don't know, I don't attach that much value uh to that. You play like car driving games, it's like they'll sell cars, like just cars by themselves in some of these games, $1.50, but then like you play a fighting game, it's like, no, like seven bucks. It's like, oh, okay. You could say maybe all cars control the same. Don't have to like change every single map to add Minecraft materials to the ground. Maybe, maybe, but who knows, who knows. 
That's right, we've watched the credits twice today. Maybe we'll watch it a third time. There might be a third time, I don't know. I wonder what it takes to get into the credits in one of these games. Maybe I joined the Super Mario Club. You know, debug these games. I don't know if debugging is a fun thing though, because you're playing a game, like, in an unfinished state. You're not necessarily... I don't think in those, like, cases you're playing the game in, like, that early access kind of alpha state where it's like, they're just missing features. Maybe, maybe you are sometimes. Maybe you are, actually. Uh, but like... You're trying to, you're trying to find and break things, and so... There's a specific role that you'd have, and of, of course, like, I feel like, uh, all those people know how to, know how to debug and know how to kind of, like, you know, at least bits of game design. So, but, yeah, I don't know, actually, yeah, what it takes to be a debugger. To be part of the Super Mario Club, if you will. I love as well that his dream ends with, or rather, the credits end with, uh, the beginning of the game. Cyclical, as they say in France. So, we've hit the end. Now, we have stage clear, 100%. Treasure, 100%. And picture panel, 100%. And I can view these, and they're definitely done. And they're definitely done. Uh, they even tell you where all the boss levels are, again. Maybe they were flashing the whole time anyways. But nope, what is this? What is this at the end here? So let's reboot the game. Th there you go, there's that. I feel like I'm gonna get that prompt every time. So over here we've got this. There's a little mini game called Flagman DD. You can hit help and it actually gives you a little bit of a help instruction, but effectively, I think the game tells you about a... Uh... Well, I guess that's it, pretty much. You can pay a hundred coins. And uh, I believe it's your goal to memory match the patterns. And see how far you get. Let's see how far I can go. I don't know. Is this like a Game & Watch minigame? a neat little minigame. One, one, two, one, one, two, three. It's a wonderful musical game. Wonderful song. It's, it's good when you can remember the pitch. They gotta show you the whole pattern every time. Oh, look at that! Okay. Alright, here we go. I'm getting I'm getting good at this. I'm getting I'm I'm keeping it. I've got like a little song going on. It's, it's, it's working nicely. Oh, that's gonna throw me off. That is gonna throw me off. Dun, 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 dun. 
Oh boy, there's another guy there. Oh boy, oh boy. What have I done? I wonder if they uh, reuse this in the, the Game & Watch Gallery kind of game. If it is a Game & Watch game. Oh boy, oh boy, it keeps going. I'll s I'm probably gonna like start losing. Oh my gosh, there's a bone in the back. He's gone. Oh my gosh, how am I remembering this? How am I remembering this? I don't even know. It's still going, it never ends. I'm I'm just gonna bail because I know, I know this is like riveting gameplay right here. Uh -uh. Why do I have I gotta I gotta sit through the whole pattern again as well. Oh, I always find okay. By the way, these like Game and Watch style games, these like small little like handheld, just like you know, just go for the high score. You're not even like reaching a different scene. Or a different like kind of gameplay mechanic. It's like the mechanic that you get right there is the mechanic that's there the whole game. I guess the one thing is maybe uh, the five and six doesn't show up immediately, but like you know, th this goes on for as long as you can, and I'm like, I don't necessarily have the patience to like play this like until I legitimately end. There's four digits there. Who would be crazy to go to nine 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 nine? Would it even go that far? You don't even get your money back. Yeah, don't even get your money back. Okay, so the real, the real bonus is notice here at the end. I've got a wonderful extra treasure chest. That is because there is one last 51st level. One bonus level. And it's the hardest it comes. But uh, I think the good news is you go straight for the end. There's no extra goodie to get along the way. It's just you beat the level. Suarez so looking around, he's trying to go, oh, where's the treasure? Oh, look at that. <laughs> he just sees it from a mile away. He travels through thick, through thin, through cold, through wilderness, through jungle. Ah! Greetings, Wario. 
Welcome to uh, the the abstract dungeon. I don't even know how to describe this one. This one, like, it burned in my head. So the really final chapter, Time Attack. Steal the Serp's treasure. Now, Time Attack is interesting. You get timed the whole way. But also, where do you go? It's even got its own kind of spooky music. And what am I looking at here? There's ears on the wall. There's enemies entrapped in the fleshiness of the walls. And on top of that... Where am I going? Like, this is, uh... There you go, right down the middle, I guess. But, like, this is, uh... uh... Particularly just, like, abstract level, and also, like... It knows, it's like, well, if we're gonna be punishing on a... On a... Money earlier, we're gonna be punishing on time. And that's exactly what this is. I can't even jump out of here. There you go, just... Finding, finding more, Ah, oh, And they know, they know exactly what to do. How to, how to irritate me. How to really irritate me. Give me the insurpassable enemy. Oh my gosh. They've even got like some final boss music, man. Think about it, like this is your reward for going through like eight, nine hours of this as well. Like you get this like super duper level. Okay, turn around. Okay, go down. Cool. All right, I'm out. I'm in the pit. We got the mouth, the fleshy mouth. Uh, I don't believe there's any like actual. Um, Rewards for beating this in a time limit. Uh, Retro Achievements wants me to do it in six minutes. Fun fact, someone's written a, an achievement guide for this. Like, there's a page on the uh, GitHub. Oh, gosh, jeez. Like, the timing is very, very jank. Because you gotta jump on the box. And you get, there you go. You wanna be on the next box. Okay, just, just get over there. Oh! Look at that! Look at that kind of painful stuff. I think I remember trying to do this on a on a keyboard. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Uh, still no, still no. Ah, oh, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. I'm effectively back at the beginning again. This is the ultra punishing level, and they know it. Eh. 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 <laughs> this is like almost ROM hack territory, actually. This is hilarious. Okay, okay, we're free of that room. This would be ultra painful if, like, you'd go back into a previous room. And then it's just like, like, you can technically bail out of that one. You can go up again and try it again. We got mazes, we got it all, we got long corridors where you gotta crouch through and I'll probably just find it's just a dead end or something really unimportant at the end. I need an enemy! I need an enemy! So I was like, oh, you gotta go back. Oh, what, what is that? The only way to go back is through the tunnel again? They know. They know they can be jerks. But also, like, what is this dungeon? What, what is this? Why is there, like, fleshy... Aspects to the walls. Ah, uh, the worst part about this enemy is that, like, his size. Like, he is a big boy. I can kick him, or I can kind of kick him across here. There you go. Up I go. And then he's struggling there. I might be able to get him to, like, go up that way. Oh, nope. Nah, nah. Not bad. Oh, gosh. Get 
Get in there! Oh, no, 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 don't come back out with me. You're going the whole way. Why is he- why is he come out back with me? I feel like I'm just gonna reset it. He's gonna go up that one hole. Well, six minutes is, uh, certainly a challenge, I'll tell you that. Maybe if I know what I'm doing. Oh, he killed himself over there. Oh, jeez. Did he respawn back then? Nope. Nope. He's, he's a goner. He's out of here. Okay, maybe I've got to do it such that... Alright, such that... <laughs> Just come back with me. Do it such that the edge of the... Whoa. That wasn't quite it. <laughs> do it so the edge of the level isn't on screen. No. Oh. They know, they know how to be cheeky. The Nintendo people, they were like, yo, this isn't even like a debug room, because like this feels way too impractical to be a debug room. And they know. This level changes a man. And the best part is that like this this is the the thing I knew. I knew this level was going to be pain. I guess I gotta bump him up. Just do it do it the old fashioned way, rather than throw him across the gap. Just bump him over. Uh, but yeah, no, I remember, like, this level being so hard back in, back in 2008, back in ages ago time. Okay, nope. Okay, cool. It's up there. Oh! It doesn't matter about the coins anymore. It's all about the Mets. I get back over there. <sighs> just yeah, he hits the wall just slightly off screen, so you can't you can't get away with that. But then it's just again, even even then, how do I physically get over there? Like I've I've not even figured out how to get back over there myself. Even if this guy wasn't there, like, I guess the easiest thing is just, yeah, pop him there, but like... Like, I can do that, but I gotta deal with this guy in the way. Keeps, it keeps getting bonked out. He's gotta be on the higher ledge, doesn't he? What if you could get away with a ground pound? Oh, is that gonna kill him? No. Oh. So like, if he's standing here... And then he's one over here, and then I can ground pound. Nope. And then he's down again. He's down. He's down again. Oh. I feel like if he's close, he's just gonna bounce towards me. So I need him to be on the far end of that platform, but. He likes getting stuck over there. Oh, not quite. Oh, I guess just as an extra thing as well. What if I just like... Try and get him over there. so much trouble. I got him, like, to the left here, easily, the first time. I 
Yeah, I've got I've got idea number two. So there there is one ledge there. You can just bounce there. Can't he just walk back? I'm an idiot. I'm trying to like bounce him up the whole time, and he can just walk all the way back. Man, I've just got to oh. Okay, don't go too far. He's going a bit too far. He's going a bit too far. There you go. First try. First try. The teeth. The fleshy teeth. Do I need a- do I need a guy? Oh yeah, I do. I remember this bit. The enemy can stand here. He can stand on this, like, ledge. You can't. I don't know what exactly tells you that. But now you've got to, like, somehow juggle being, like, half off screen. And then you gotta hope that you're dragging him the right way. Yep. And then they force you to do it again. This time with a ceiling. Way No, 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 no. Bad. That's very bad. Is, is, is that guy gonna come back? Oh, no. He's, he's, he's gone. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I... Pfft. I'm gonna hard reset this room. Tell this but tell someone that this music is from a warrior game. While we're at it, the background as well. Oh, I just realized this is gonna be fun, because like I've been um I've actually been like manually kind of like uh doing like a panorama of the um of the backgrounds for the, the video thumbnails. Ah, oh, gosh. Um so I'm like I go into the scene and then I try like jumping around and just trying to like trying to like get like freeze frames of uh well, of enough of the ground to uh, do a background, and it's like, yeah, I'm totally gonna love doing this bit right here. This one room in particular. Ah, oh, you can see, you can see the struggle. I mean, granted, like. It is the last level, and again, it's Warrior Land. It's not like, oh, you die, you have to do the whole level again. It's like, well, no, it's it's the classic Warrior Land 2 blunder. You you fail, you fall. You just gotta, like, try and do a bit again. But, oh, boy. Oh, boy. Like, they knew. They knew. I can't get over this. I swear. Okay. Mm. Oh. That second one is punishing because the ceiling. Oh no, my coins. You know what's the best part as well? Like sometimes I I go, oh, I did this as a kid. And I'm like, well, I did it as a kid with rewinds. But then it's like, oh, I've played like tons of games. So I, I feel like I'm much more experienced than I used to be. And, uh... That's a really, like, na naive way of me thinking, but it's like, you know what? It's sometimes working. Is that just, like, the permanent, like, silver coin? Like, it's just, well, not anymore, I guess. And definitely not now. Did, did they, did they, <laughs> they have a good time with this? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I think I played like a Mario 1 ROM hack that effectively had this as level design. <laughs> I'm like, oh gosh. So we went past the ears. This is this is the eyes. Dude, okay, out of all like the body parts that like have like all over the place, eyes are like remarkably like the spookiest one. Because it's just like you know what what does that what does a, a mouth in the room really mean? Not much. Uh, someone speaks to you? What does an eye mean? Oh, yeah. So, let me, let me, let me observe what's going on up here. There is a, uh, door up there. And I believe you've got to jump on the birds. you got to jump on the birds in the right direction as well. 
Okay. It's not the absolute best, like, it's not like you're juggling the birds, but it's like... Gotta at least get the bird jumps right. And get them in the right place. Oh! Sometimes I feel my B button's not working, and I don't know if it's, uh... Like, particularly in this stream, like, right- yeah, right then, I tried it again. Okay, cool. Alright, that wasn't actually that bad. Conveyor belts, everyone's favorite. You can't live with them, can't live without them. What is going on here? This is actually, hold on, what is going on here? Like, because it's like you can't crouch and walk, and you can't. There's no, like, switch back in this room, right? Right? Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me, game. But it's like, that's the only way they expect you to get through this. Unless I, like, move ever so slightly further to the right. Nah. Nah. I mean, the last room wasn't that bad, but like... Where would the switch be then? Would it be like to the left here? Well, okay, it's it's not there at all. Let's go up. Up the jumps, just to remind myself. No, they didn't at all. Miss it. Cool. And it's not to the right there because yeah, the camera cuts off. So where am I going? Oh gosh. That's not that's not a switch, is it? Oh yeah. I forgot that's a that's a mechanic. Dash ducking. Oh you know what's the best part? Like that that other level. That's probably something I should have been able to do and I just never did. The factory level. The infamous factory level that will never let me down. That is a that is a squeeze and a half. Okay. Cool, okay, now, don't fall down. Is that like a frame-perfect jump? Or is that just like me abusing the inbalm? Wario has no money. Wario has virtually no money. Okay, I don't know man. I don't know. It's working. I'll take it. We got I we got everyone crying and you know exactly what's gonna happen. You gotta get hit by the big rock and now dodge all the spit. Oh boy. This isn't the worst, because, like, the timing's pretty consistent, it's just... So I supposed to make that jump, or am I supposed to make, like, this one? Nope, I made none of the jumps. Because I'm amazing, like that. Can't believe it. Okay. Can't believe it, I played this whole game and I still have no idea how, like, the timing on the Flat Warrior is. I swear, this looks like I could just make that- yeah, like that. And like that. And like that. And before the game punishes me for like, jumping it. No, no, that's fine. Okay. Okay, cool. Oh, in the end of the level. 
Oh, and, and, and just to be a little bit mean, just be a little bit mean, they do that, and then, uh... Is there any actual, like, goodie down here? This That just looks like it didn't even blot out that bottom part of the level. Alright. Boing, 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 boing. That's it! That's the end of the game! Right there, that is the super secret bonus level. I did lose all my money. <laughs> cool. So there's no there's no extra treasure, don't worry. But that's it. That is your lovely extra goal. What do you get for beating this? Just one extra level. Oh sorry, extra um extra ending, sorry. Not extra level. Wario hits the switch. Uh, the back of the door looks the same as the front, I guess. Sure. There's nothing really about it. Just lift! And there it is! The money! It was there the whole time. He's a happy fella, I'll tell you that. And there you go! That's it. That's Warrior Land 2. Uh, one more credit sequence. So, yeah, I don't think there's anything particularly, um, I guess hidden that I haven't really shown, but like, that's it. That's the whole game, basically. That's all 51 levels. And oh boy. It's a great, it's a great game. I really appreciate all its mechanics. It definitely uses them for as much as it, you know, feels, sorry. It, it, it uses them to every degree possible, which I think is great. Um, and I also love how wide this game is. Just the fact that, like, it's like, oh, so you thought you thought the mechanics were fun. Well, here you go. Here's, like, twice the amount of content. Here's, like, all these secret levels. Here's bosses in the secret levels. We're using these mechanics in slightly different ways. Uh, you know, starting to give you some real big tricky challenges. Like, yeah, they legit, like, they pull out the stops on this game. It's, it's really good. I don't really know how much more I can say, but yeah, no, I'm glad this game exists and I hope people, more people play it and more people, uh, if you watch this and you go, hey, like that looks cool, play the game for yourself. Legit, it's a great time. It's not too tricky, a little bit like, yeah, you know, you're gonna, you, can, you do have to fiddle around a bit. It's definitely a, a, uh, it's definitely a bit of a challenging game at times, but like, it's not that punishing. It, it's pretty, pretty, pretty approachable and that's great. And on top of that, like, as a game for the Game Boy Color, I think a lot of Game Boy games look a bit aged because they don't have that color aspect to them. Maybe they've got the Super Game Boy compatibility, they've got maybe four colors on them, but like when it's for the Game Boy Color and you can see it all in color, you know, I think that really helps out. If anything, that fleshy room probably looks even weirder in pink um, than black and white, I guess, so... But... Yeah, no, definitely, definitely give the game a try, and, uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm definitely glad this game exists as well. Like, it's just, uh, yeah. It's a, it's a piece of Game Boy history. I don't even know if, uh, Nintendo acknowledges these Warrior Land games that much. Nowadays, I don't think so. What has it been? 14 years since the last Warrior Land? I think so. I guess we got a new WarriorWare, but, eh. You know, there's something nice about these little platforming games. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, he's on the run. He's on the run. Wonderful, weird, spiral sun. All the time. I don't really know what to say. I mean, yeah, it's it's a it's a great game. Uh, it's been it's been a fun time playing it. Uh, and as 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 something cathartic for me of like oh like I played this game 14 years ago, 13 and a half years ago, on on the channel once. Never played it before. Haven't played it since. And now I've played it again. Legitimately, I feel like I've played this without really, you know, like, you know, abusing emulator features or doing any of that stuff. Um, and like, this is a game that, like, you shouldn't even have to save state. Like, legit, there's nothing, 
There's nothing safe sustainable really about it, so I don't know what I did. Rewind spam, I guess. Any gums. Oh my gosh, it just follows him home. And that's it. <laughs> Well, I, I guess you gotta get told that you 100% of the game again. Or did I? No, it's, it's still 100%. It's still 100%. But, alas, you now have a time for the final stage. And you can challenge yourself on that one. Which is pretty nice. And, uh, yeah. Ah, what a wonderful game. And what a wonderful way to end. So, with that, I'd like to thank you all so very much for watching. Uh, and with that, yeah, thanks for watching. Have a happy Chinese New Year, or whatever kind of holiday you'd like to celebrate as well. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, you can follow me on Twitch, unless you're on YouTube, in which case you can subscribe on YouTube. I just upload the bots probably watching the bot right now uh, but that's okay uh, I'll, I'll be streaming yet another game on a Monday and then the bot comes out the day after so that's all good it'll be February the shortest month of the year uh, I don't really know if I queue my games up to end on the, the month but I guess all four streams of this game happened in January so I guess that's cool um, so that's all that's all fine but I legit I don't really know what I'd follow this up with uh, but that's yeah that's fine uh, I, I'm looking forward to figuring out what I'm going to play next. I hope I see you there watching live or watching the VODs or leaving comments or whatever. All good stuff. And until then, stay safe, eat your greens, look both ways before you cross the road, and uh, remember, uh, don't, don't go into the fleshy castle to get the secret treasure. It's not worth it. Trust me. Alright, have a good one, everyone.